Right, so you've bought a Lenovo Chromebook and now you would like to have a Windows 10 on it and turn it to a, a normal laptop instead of having the Chrome OS on it. So what you will need is a external optical drive, Windows 10 install CD and now we can proceed. So let's switch on the laptop. In order to enter BIOS, you have to click Enter. This will ask you what to do. So we're clicking F1 key. That takes us to the BIOS. Over there, go to Startup. Inside Startup, let's click on Boot. And now, let's get our optical drive to the top. So the system will start from it first. We're clicking key escape and now let's go to restart exit saving changes before that I'll just put my installation CD in so that goes there and now we can proceed with exit saving changes. System is asking us what to do, so let's confirm what we're doing. And now it will start from optical drive. Let's press any key to put from it. And that starts a normal Windows 10 setup. My Chromebook does a Lenovo X131e. Actually, I've got this with a 500GB hard drive because I swapped the original hard drive to 500GB one to, to be enough for installing Windows on it. So I don't know how it looks like when you've got one of those SSD drives in it because there is a certain capacity that's required by Windows 10. So before you proceed with installing your Windows, just please make sure that your Chromebook is having enough space on your hard drive so it will fit Windows 10 installation. So now this comes with a language selection. So I'll just uh, select my language and my local settings. So we're clicking on the next to continue and on install now. Let's accept terms and conditions and click on next. Now we're going to a custom installation of Windows. On this hard drive, I had previously uh, some windows installed on it, so let's uh, just delete all the partitions that are there. Just bear in mind, once you are doing this, uh, this will erase all the data you've got on your hard drive. So please make sure that uh, you are not losing anything. So make a backup and uh, then start the installation. Now I'll click on next. And this starts copying the Windows files. So at this point, all the files are just going from your optical drive over the cable to your computer and that installs the windows on it I'll just speed up this video so it's not taking too much time to watch it because other than it's just uh, this process actually takes a while Now we've got 100% of uh, getting files ready for installation. Windows have installed uh, features and now it's installing updates. 
last moment of the installation getting finished and we are restarting so it will just uh, count down to zero and inst uh, restart itself this time when it started just don't press any keys it will uh, it should load uh, itself from the from the hard drive now from what's already installed on a on a laptop and we got windows logo now Getting devices ready. Now we have restarted itself again. It said restarting, but nothing happens for a while. I can still hear the hard drive working. Oh yeah. Now it's here. So bear in mind, do not press any keys right now again, because it's uh, starting from the uh, from the hard drive. Because we got Windows there already. It's pretty funny. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see how refreshing on the screen is working. <laughs> This tells a lot about screens installed in the Chromebooks. Right, so now we are at the point where we can select our Wi-Fi network. So let's get it connected. So I'll just choose mine. And now let's type our Wi-Fi key. and press enter this will get you connected to your wi-fi now there's that get going fast bit so let's use express settings the good thing about windows 10 is that once the operating system is installed you don't need to install many uh, drivers dedicated for this laptop it should actually uh, detect everything automatically and um, now we've got the question is to join uh, Azure Active Directory as this laptop is not connected to an internal network like the, for example a the sort of office network we'll just uh, use the local domain because we don't have any Active Directory service set up so we don't need to get any settings imported now account for this uh, for this pc i'll call it chromebook because at the end of the day this is still my chromebook it's just uh, running windows on it so yeah let's click on next cortana um i'll just ignore it for now it's actually quite a useful Cortana. I like to talk with my devices. So if you would just uh, if you'd like to con configure it on at some different point, you can do it later on. Now just a little welcome from Windows 10.
Now Windows is just finalizing all the settings on your on your laptop, copying the uh, files and getting it ready to start for the first time. Hey, let's start. Here we go. Our Windows. So now we are running full operating system on our Chromebook, that's Windows 10 operating system. So at this point I can just switch off the uh, drive, before I'll do that I'll just take my installation CD out, because otherwise I won't be able to do that. So now I can take that cable out. Those optical drives like this, uh, you can actually buy them uh, from places like eBay uh, for just a couple of quid, so they are not that expensive. Um, yeah, so now we've got Windows 10. Uh, it's connected to the internet already, because we connected it earlier. So we've got it connected to the network. And now what it will do, it will just uh, go to the internet, see what the hardware is inside our Chromebook and install the drivers. So I will see how this goes. If there will be anything missing, I will just extend this video with some more details about uh, anything else that I have to do post installation. But at this moment everything is looking fine, we've got the windows, it's running. You can tell Yeah, you can tell that um, it's running on this Chromebook. So that's just a normal Chromebook, 4GB of RAM, uh, Intel Core i3. It's actually working quite snappy on it. It's uh, really nice. It's actually quite fast. So it's a really good positive surprise. It's probably because those laptops are coming with uh, the third generation of Intel Core i3, which are quite quick processors. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, you can see that I'm running that. I've got 500 gigabytes hard drive in it. Uh, whoops. Oh, actually, nothing to worry about. There's just only an update. It's uh, telling that I need to update my OneDrive if I want to use it. Um, I'll just do it later on. So yeah, now Windows will just install all the updates. Yeah, it's actually I'm searching for my uh, display driver right now. It should actually install it in a second and screen resolution will be uh, back as normal. Because those little laptops, even when they're having 11 inch screen, they got uh, quite good resolution on them. Right, so I think that'll be it for now. Um, thank you very much for watching my video and please uh, subscribe by hitting uh, the subscribe button to get updates about more technical videos of how to repair laptops, how to install Windows on them and other things like that. So thank you very much for watching and see you later!